Hey everybody, hey Cardware here, and in this video we are going to go over how to get Nginx Proxy Manager installed on Proxmox using helper scripts. So this is a logical next video after my last one, which was how to get Pi-hole set up, because we're going to be using Pi-hole and Nginx Proxy Manager to set up some domains for services like Nginx Proxy Manager itself. Uh, we could do it for Pi-hole. Uh, we can't do it for Proxmox quite yet. We're going to have to wait for a third video, which will go over how to get SSL certificates set up with Nginx Proxy Manager, which is pretty easy. You do have to buy a domain, which is kind of a pain, but it doesn't really play well, Proxmox specifically. And there might be some other services, but like if you have Home Assistant or any other thing that you're using like a domain for or a IP address for that you'd rather use a domain like nginx.internal or homeassistant.internal this is a great video and technically you can use local DNS settings in Pi-hole to set up DNS records but as far as I know you can't set up SSL certificates which is in my opinion almost a must for nginx proxy manager because it's pretty easy it's pretty cheap uh, there might be some free ways to do it. I'm not aware of any, but with Cloudflare, it's pretty easy to do if you're willing to spend a couple bucks on a domain, and that's a couple bucks per year. So uh, I guess it's kind of up to you whether you want to do that. But let's jump into our guide here. Um, so we're going to actually be on this one. As with any time we're using the helper script, just be aware that you're running a script off the internet. Make sure, you know, I believe these are open source uh, scripts, so go in and take a look if you're worried uh, that there might be something nefarious going on. But we are going to jump over to the helper script site. And this is, let's get a little bit larger here. This is for Nginx Proxy Manager. And there's a few notes here, and then our command that we're going to be running and then some default login credentials for once it's deployed. So I'm going to copy this now because I know that I'm going to need it. And there is a prerequisite, of course, we need Pi-hole. So check out my previous video on Pi-hole if you don't have that installed already. It's super easy. It's a helper script as well. So uh, you can get it all installed pretty quickly. So in Proxmox, you could, so we're in server view and we're, we've got our server selected. You could run this in the shell menu item here. But I prefer to click this button up here, which opens a new window for the shell, just to keep it a little bit separate in case you go to a different tab. I've had like some issues uh, where it kind of like loses my session. So I prefer to just pop out a window here and run everything in the window. So let's get started. Now we're just going to click yes, of course, we want to get it set up. In the guide, I actually have default settings selected, but we're going to do advanced settings because I want to set a static IP address. You can technically do that in the router if you want, but for me, I'm going to set it up here uh, within the installation script. So I'll do advanced, but almost everything I'm doing is going to be default. So Debian, that's the default. 12 is the default on privilege container. We'll set up a root password, and we're just going to leave the container ID as default. Host name is default. And these you can change if you want. The resources are pretty much fine. Uh, but here, instead of DHCP, I'm going to do 192.168.50.4 because Proxmox is 50.2 for me, Pi-hole is 50.3, and then I like to put Nginx Proxy Manager as 50.4. Now your IP addresses are going to be different. Uh, mine, I specifically have uh, like a kind of like a test lab set up on 50, so that's where all of my videos I'm making are going to be hosted. And then my like production stuff is on a, a different uh, VLAN entirely. So it's going to be different for you. So we'll do slash 24 because that has to be a site or address. And click OK. Chances are if you have installed Proxmox, you have an idea of how to do all this stuff. So I'm not going to get too deep into it. Gateway is going to be, for me, 50.1. For you, it could be like 192.168.1.1, uh, whatever you want. Don't need anything there. I am going to disable IPv6 because I'm not using it. Uh, don't need that. My host, it, it's fine. I have Pi-hole set up as my DNS server, which is set at the router level, so this should be fine. This is fine. I don't need a VLAN. I set the VLAN at the port, so I don't need to put it in here. 
and then OK. And then no, I don't need root SSH access because I can get in through Proxmox. Uh, enable reverse mode, no. And yes, so I'm going to pause. We're not even going to pause the video. I'm going to speed it up so you can kind of see everything that's running. And then I will come back once this is installed and ready to go. All right, so there is a prompt here just asking if we want to install an older version. I'm not entirely sure why this prompt exists. Maybe there's a breaking change or something, and some people may want to install an older version. I'm going to do the default, which is no. All right, it is installed, so we can just copy the IP address and we can just throw it into our browser here. And there we go. Okay, I was scared there for a second, it wasn't loading. Uh, we can just click these to copy them and put them in. Sign in, and it's going to just have you change some things. Really, the email is the only thing that you need to change. And then the password. So it's change me, and then put in whatever you want to use. OK, so we are in. Right now, uh, it's just kind of sitting on its own. You can see we're at this IP address here. But if we want to actually start using it as a reverse proxy, we can go to hosts and proxy hosts. So we're going to add a proxy host. And you know what? For our first one, let's do nginx itself. So I'm just going to do nginx.internal. And then you have to click this add. I always forget, and then it doesn't actually add it. So make sure you click the add to actually add it. Uh, we're going to use HTTP, and it's going to be 192.168. 50.4 and the port is 81 and in the wiki it goes over a little bit uh, what these different settings are for cache assets block common exploits websocket support you don't always need them i usually just turn them all on and then if there's an issue i deal with it later uh, then just click save and that's it now if we were to click this nothing happens yet because we need to set it up in iHole. So inside Pi-hole, if we go to settings, local DNS records, we would put nginx.internal. And it's, we're not actually going to put the IP address of nginx uh, proxy manager because what we want is for our DNS to forward that domain to our reverse proxy, which then serves the correct IP address. So we're going to do 192. And actually, this one, it's funny because 
we're actually going to be sending it to our reverse proxy, which is what we're setting up a proxy for. But you're going to see, we'll do, um, we could do like a pie hole one too, if we want, uh, just to see a different IP here. But basically the IP you put in here is always going to be the IP for the refer reverse proxy manager, uh, Nginx proxy manager. So it, it it's slightly confusing, but let's just add this here. And now what happens basically is if we go to pihole.internal, then our DNS is going to uh, actually move it up to the top. It's alphabetical, I guess. Uh, if we go to nginx.internal, it's going to forward that request to our proxy manager, which will then forward it to the correct IP address. So there we go. And of course, we'll have to sign back in. And we have it set up. So now we can use this internal uh, dot internal for our services. And if we want to set up like Pihole, granted Pihole has its own kind of DNS setup already. But if we wanted to, uh, let's actually delete it from here. And we can now put it in here. So we'll add another proxy. We'll do Pihole dot internal. Make sure you click add. And then we'll do 192.168. 50.3 and it's slash admin so I think it's just I'm trying to remember what port I need to do let's just try 80 see if that works we'll just throw these on we may or may not need them I will click save and now when we go into pihole we'll do pihole.internal and it's going to be 50.4. So now, again, at all of our domains we're forwarding to our reverse proxy. And then we should be able to now use this, but it's going to need to be slash admin. So now we can use pihole.internal slash admin. So as you can see, there's a lot of benefits here. Now the problem is if I were to try and set this up for Proxmox without a certificate, it's not going to work. So let's say we take this IP address and we go into Nginx Proxy Manager, we add a proxy and it's HTTPS and we do 8006, click all these uh, and we do proxmox.internal, click add, save. Then we go into Pihole and we go into our settings, local DNS records and we do proxmox internal put in our reverse proxy click plus and then try and go to this now it does load and if i were to put in my password it logs in but then we get this pop-up saying a connection error no ticket and that's because the certificate doesn't work uh, or there's no certificate really or no valid certificate so what we can do is add an ssl certificate here and that is going to be the next video. So it's pretty easy, like I said uh, in the beginning of this video, uh, but you do need to purchase a domain. And for some people, you may not want to do that. I'm not aware of any other way to get Proxmox to work unless you have a valid certificate. You don't actually have to have anything connected to the internet. We're going to be using Cloudflare to get the SSL certificate set up. So you don't actually have to connect any of these services to the internet, but you do have to buy a domain uh, to have everything work through Cloudflare. So check out the next video. It's going to be um, Nginx Proxy Manager SSL, and that'll show you how to get a Let's Encrypt certificate for your reverse proxy. So that is, I believe, it for this video. Let me just check, see if there's anything else. Mm, nope, that is it. All right. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.